Hi there, I've owned my M8 for about six weeks now. I realised the other day that I hadn't really grasped the whole concept of selecting, copying, pasting, cloning, deep cloning, that whole sort of thing. So I sat myself down yesterday and really made myself learn it. So I thought while it's fresh in my mind, I'd make this video and it might help you. So I have loaded in a new song, so completely fresh song, and you can see that the cursor is at this top left hand corner. So it's at position zero, 00 in the chains and it's on track one. So this blue box here is the cursor. So wherever the cursor ends up, that's where you're going to create something. So at the moment, like I say, it's on that top left hand corner, track one and position naught naught in the chains. Now, there's no chain there at the moment. So how do we create a chain? Well, we have to decide first of all, what the number of that chain is going to be. If I hold edit, it goes to naught naught. Now that is a chain. That's the very first chain that can be created, but we tend to use chain 10 to start with on track one, because 10 begins with a one and track is obviously one. It's to try and keep some kind of link between the track number and the chain number. So the easiest way to take that to track 10 is to hold edit and up and that takes it to 10. So we've got track one, chain 10, and if we hold shift and right, we go into chain 10, you see we are at a position naught in the phrases. There are no phrases. So I'm gonna press edit, and again, it's gone to naught naught. If there'd been something here before, it would, it would have called that number up, but because this is fresh, it just goes to the first one available. Again, we want phrase 10 in chain 10, so I'll hold edit and up. So I've now got, if I look back, I've got chain 10 with phrase 10. Now I'm gonna create three more instances of that. If I move the cursor down one position and press edit, it's going to create 10, because that was the last one I created. So I'll do that again and again, and I've got four phrase tens in chain 10. So the first thing we want to try and figure out is how to copy the chains. But I think before we do that, we should put some data into the patterns so it's more meaningful. So we hold shift and right. Let's go to the top version of phrase 10 and we'll hold shift and right and go into that actual phrase. Let's create a C4 by holding edit. C4 is created as a default with a volume of 64 and an instrument of 0, 0. I'm going to change the instrument to 0, 1. So I'm gonna go over to it by pressing right and right again. I'm gonna hold edit and right once. Let's take it to 0, 1. Now there's no instrument on that. So I'm gonna hold shift and right to go into the instrument view. I'm going to hold edit and right once, twice, three times to go to the sampler. I'm going to press right to go over to load. I'm going to press edit. It brings up this view. If I press shift and left, that's the view I actually want because I want to go into samples. So I come down to samples, press edit, which is enter or yes. Come down to packs, edit or enter or yes. And I'm going to come into electronic sounds and I'm going to come into kicks halfway down, press edit to go in and I can audition these kicks. If I go to kick one, press play, 10, I'm gonna use kick 10. So if I press edit, it's gonna load that instrument into this sampler. I'm going to name this instrument as kick. So I hold edit and I'm gonna go through this business of finding the letters, K, let go, and then I, let go, and then C, let go, and then K, let go. So this is an instrument called Kick. The sample is Kick 10, and it's in instrument 01. So if I go back to the phrase view and press play, I've got a bass drum at the beginning of each bar, a kick drum. I'm going to create four of these using the fill function. So I'm gonna come over to the note so the C4 is highlighted. I'm gonna press shift and option to select that. Then I'm gonna hold the down button to the whole column is selected. Then I'm gonna hold option and left just to go through the options available for filling this bar. So there's the first one, one times. That's a, a bass drum on every semi-quaver of the bar. I don't want that. 
that's every other semiquaver and that's every three semiquavers this is the one I want now if I press option again it just clears that and if I press play I've got a four on the floor kick drum pattern a kick drum on every main beat of the bar on steps 0, 4, 8 and C or if you like 1, 5, 9 and 13 okay let's play that again so that is phrase 10 in chain 10 and I've got four of those so if I was to press play it would play that four times see the playhead there and then it would just loop back go to the song view and obviously the playhead won't move because all it is is chain 10 looping around so we have created chain 10 phrase 10 and in that phrase 10 we've created four kick drum patterns now supposing we want to copy this chain now if I were to move down to 0 1 by pressing the down button and press enter it would create 10 automatically because that's how this machine works it remembers the last one I wouldn't need to go through the copy process right so let's show you how we can copy a chain without using that process because we won't always be able to use that that method of going to the place we want to put the chain and just pressing edit that won't always work right so this is how we copy a chain we go to the chain we want to copy we hold shift and option and the cursor changes color now mine changes to this kind of uh, purple color yours might change to a different color if your theme is set differently I've just got the default theme on my M8 now if I press option again this copies the chain into the M8 buffer or memory so option and that's copied and what happens is uh, the cursor moves down one position ready for paste if you don't want to paste it there you move the cursor somewhere else but we'll just leave it there for the moment now to paste the copy chain press shift and edit and it's copied that chain 10 into that position and the cursors moved down again now this chain is a direct copy of the original and will have the same number as you can see it does so if I uh, go up to it and press shift and write there we are four phrase tens with those kick drums in so that's a direct copy and obviously if I alter anything in this chain in these phrases it will alter the chain 10 above it okay now let's have a look at cloning a chain let's just get rid of that by holding the option and edit button together let's move the cursor to the chain we want to clone and of course you can do more than one chain at a time at the moment we've only got this one chain in but you can do multiple chains at the same time now this time we're going to hold shift and option to highlight the chain like this but I'm still hanging on to the shift button because I'm now going to press edit and now you can see what's happened the numbers moved up by one so I now have chain 11 now if I look inside chain 11 by pressing shift and right you can see I've got four phrase tens just like before with that kick drum pattern so chain 11 is a clone of chain 10 now if you want chain 10 back there's no problem just hold edit and left and there it is just prove it's still there so it's still there so go up to chain 11 again edit and right so chain 11 so why would you want to do that because if you alter any of these phrase tens it's going to alter all the phrase tens in this chain and chain 10 so why would you want to do this well you might want to alter the last phrase to give you a, a variation so if I come down to this fourth instance of phrase 10 like this I'm going to hold shift hold on to shift press option keep holding on to shift and press edit now that's created phrase 11 in chain 11 now if I open that phrase up and create an extra kick drum where the cursor is on step F the very last step of this phrase by pressing edit just play this now I've got a variation you see if I come back to this you see I've got three phrase tens one phrase eleven so if I play this you'll see what happens in this fourth bar there's going to be a variation see so 
So that's a reason for cloning a chain like this. Now the next method I'm going to show you is the deep clone, which is only available in the song view. Let's leave this on 11 and we'll deep clone 11. All right, so you hold shift, keep holding shift, press option, so it's highlighted. And this time you're going to keep holding shift and press edit twice. Now at the bottom it says cloned chain and phrase. If we go into this, we'll see that we've got chain 12. Remember, we've already created chain 11, so it's jumped to the next one. And inside chain 12, we've got phrase 12 three times and phrase 13 once. If I play this, you hear it's the same as 11, chain 11, for that variation. You see? So, what was the point of doing this? Well, I might want to create something different in this which won't alter chain 11, you see? So, I could go into 12 this and I could add a few more bass drums let's put one down here and let's put one up here let's see how that sounds okay so if we come back and listen to chain 12 got those variations then this will be the first variation So the reason for cloning and deep cloning is that you want to create something, but you don't want to create it from scratch, you just want to make small alterations. So if we come back to our song, and if we put chain 10 in position 1, let's go back, and if we come down, now that's going to create 10 because that's the last one I created, bring this up to 11, come down, make this 12. Now if I play this from the top, you'll hear how it changes dead straight to start with for chain 10. When it gets to 11 there'll be that variety on the fourth bar. Now all these varieties here, you see? So there we are, that's copying and cloning and deep cloning. If you go into a chain like this one, chain 10, and if you select phrase 10 at the top there, and if you keep holding shift and you clone this phrase by pressing edit once, it's cloned phrase 10. It's gone to 14 because we've already used 10, 11, 12, and 13, so it's, it's jumped to the next available number. And obviously if you go into this phrase and you want to change things, it won't alter any of the uh, other phrases because this phrase is a different number. In the phrases you can copy and clone in a similar way. So I've got this kick drum. If I wanted to have another kick drum which is similar to this but slightly different, I could hold shift and option to highlight it, keep holding shift and press the edit button. Now I've cloned instrument 01. At the moment instrument 02 is a direct copy of 01. Listen, no difference. But if I go into instrument 02 by holding shift and right, and let's make a change here. So what I've done here on instrument 02, which is the cloned version of instrument 01, I've put a load of reverb uh, down here. And if I play the phrase, you'll hear that instrument 02 on this first step, it's got lots of reverb. Instrument 01 on steps 4, 8 and C has no reverb. So you can clone instruments as well as phrases, as well as chains. Final thing I'm going to show you today is something called Move. Right, so I've loaded this song in, just a very simple thing I'm using for my demo song. Supposing I wanted to move all these chains somewhere else. Okay, well I'm on track one, step 0, 0. So I'm going to hold shift and option to highlight that let go, press right so that all three of those are highlighted. So I've got tracks 1, 2 and 3, chains 10, 20 and 30 all highlighted. And to move that, it's a simple matter, I hold edit and down. And then it all moves down to wherever I want it. You can't go across by pressing the right, you can only go up and down. That's how you move, and I've moved several there. So if I come off that, 
if I press option, come out of that, I could move just this chain. So select, editing down, and now just that chain moves down and up. There we are, a fairly comprehensive lesson on all those things, how to create a chain, how to copy it, how to clone it, how to deep clone it, and the reasons for doing so. Nearly always it's to create a slight variation on something without having to go back to the very beginning and create something from scratch. It's just a time saving thing and also moving as well. Hope you found that interesting and you'll see me in my next video.